I did a video a while back that was all about the damage that occurs within an engine when you have too much oil. It primarily discussed the crank splashing around, the typical symptoms that you would get from that problem. But the question that has been raised multiple times, and I've had feedback and comments and suggestions, how much oil is too much? We've discussed the problem of having too much oil, but we've never actually quantified it. And out there, there's people that say that it really doesn't matter. Most engines are quite tolerant of having lots of oil in them. And other people are saying it does matter a lot and you shouldn't really go over the max level on the dipstick. So who's right? What's the truth there? How much oil is too much oil? So first off, we've got to grasp the very simple fundamental that not all engines are the same. If you've got a fairly small sump capacity of say three and a half, four liters, and the engine is relatively small, it's going to be less tolerant of overfills than say a large V8 engine, which would expect seven or eight liters of oil. So the tolerance level very much depends on the engine itself. You could maybe view the overfill as a percentage of the total capacity recommended by the manufacturer, which will give you a, a more flexible baseline. But it's not even as simple as that because engine designs are very different. The critical thing is looking out for symptoms that happen when you have too much oil in. So it's fair to say that most engines, you can go over the max level on the dipstick without having too much of a problem at all. But as soon as you start getting the crank splashing into the oil, that is where you start getting the problems. So and you've got to assume as well that the oil is not at that static level. It's going to slosh around the sump as you move the car through corners, go up hills, accelerate and decelerate, which is really why they put the dipstick right in the centre, because it gives a nice average overview whatever angle the car is at you're still going to get a reasonably accurate reading whereas if the car was on an incline and the dipstick hole was on the left hand side of the engine for example it may be reading abnormally low or abnormally high so think about the actual shape of the sump itself. There's a, a reservoir at the bottom of the engine and the dipstick really is designed to give you an indication to make sure that the oil is high enough to cover the oil pickup, but it's not too high so as to cause problems in the engine. Each centimetre of height on the dipstick at this point will typically only take about a quarter of a litre of oil. But when you start going over this level, you're filling in a much wider area. So the level rises much more slowly. So going significantly over the maximum mark does require a lot more oil so it's a relatively forgiving situation the key thing though is to make sure that the crank is not splashing in the oil so let's just think about some of the symptoms you might notice that would indicate you actually do have a problem with too much oil so the symptoms to look out for the warning signs that you've got too much oil in loss of power the crank splashing around in the oil is going to sap power is probably going to cause extra vibration within the engine as well. If you watch our video of what happens when you've got too much engine oil, that'll give you a few more insights into what is going on inside the engine. But that also can cause oil leaks. So the splashing around is creating high velocity jets of oil inside the engine. That oil is hitting parts of the engine that is not really designed to have high pressure oil. You often start to see the gaskets and the oil seals starting to weep a little bit of oil. So that could be a telltale sign that there is too much oil within your engine. It's also a factor that the more oil you have in your sump, the greater the oil oil pressure is within the engine itself. And if that pressure is too high, it can cause problems with the oil seals. Overfilled engines may also burn oil. So if you notice the engine is starting to burn oil, that could easily be a major symptom that you've got too much oil in there. And if you notice the engine burning oil just after you've had an oil change and you've checked the dipstick and it is over the maximum mark, that could well be the problem. So that can happen in a variety of ways. You can get oil going past the piston rings into the cylinders themselves. But the most common way in this situation is the PCV, the positive crankcase ventilation. Now I've done a video that goes into the PCV in more detail, but basically the pressure inside the engine is vented, if that gets too high, into the intake. So if there's a lot of oil splashing around, you've got a lot of oil vapor inside the crankcase. So the crankcase vent is going to be pushing this vapor filled oil back into the intake. It's going to cause carbon buildup, particularly if you've got a direct injection engine. And 
and that oil is going directly into the engine again. So it's being burnt and that's where you'll typically start to see the blue smoke coming from the back of the car. So the major problem you have with too much oil is the problem of cavitation. You'll often be able to start an engine. I've seen videos of engines running with far too much oil in them and cavitation starting to happen. And you might conclude from that that it's OK, it doesn't matter. But what's happening, the cavitation is creating bubbles within the oil or little voids within that fluid. So those voids of oil are not lubricating as well as the oil was originally designed to. So if you've got a high performance engine, it's going to be particularly sensitive to that. And you are going to exacerbate the wear and tear on the engine to a significant level. So although the engine may run and you may be able to run around for months with that, the wear and tear on the engine is going to be the equivalent of many years of driving. So you're dramatically shortening the life of the engine. That engine oil is a frothy, milky, bubbly mixture. So the oil is not really anywhere near the manufacturer's tolerances or the manufacturer's design specification. So in order to determine the level of oil, manufacturers have given us a dipstick. They have marked a minimum and a maximum level, which they calculate to be a safe region. Now, as always with manufacturers, there is a degree of variance outside of that. So most people I've spoken to say you can get away with about a quart. That's up to about a UK litre. So I would say if you're in the UK, somewhere between three quarters and one litre is generally OK in most engines. There's going to be exceptions out there. Please let me know your experiences if you've had problems with these minor overfills of oil. But being a little bit over the dipstick doesn't matter. It's where you start seeing the oil going right up the dipstick. And there's definitely too much oil in the sump. It's starting to leak out of the engine. The crankshaft is splashing in the oil and you've got all these other associated problems developing. That's the point, really. You need to do something about it. So does it matter? Yes, it does. If you've got too much, it will cause damage to the engine. It'll either burn oil, the oil quality will be significantly degraded and you'll be accelerating the wear and tear on the engine. And you'll experience that lower power output as the crank is doing extra work to try and get through all of that oil. But the amount of oil that is too much is very variable. It depends so much on your car. But the key really is to look out for the symptoms. If you've got too much oil in the car, most people would say to keep the maximum level as the mark to aim for. I know a lot of garages and dealerships actually top the oil up to above the maximum level by a little bit, a little margin. But in the main, don't worry too much if you're just a little bit over unless you're getting these significant symptoms of a major problem. So I hope this video has just cleared up that question as to how much oil is too much. I wish I could have just just provided a set number that this number of litres or fractions of a litre of oil is too much, but it really is so variable. There's so many different types of engine, different engine designs out there. You can't have a rule of thumb like that. Please let me know in the comments what your experience has been, how much oil you feel is too much over the max level on the dipstick for your engine, and let me know what engine it is, and maybe we can see some sort of consensus, and maybe I can revisit this topic and provide a little bit more advice. So thanks for watching. Please boot the like button and that really does help us to get out there. And I've lined this video up for you. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We'd love you to stay tuned and you won't miss out on all the great content we've got coming up that'll help you to get the best out of your car. See you in this next video. Thanks for watching.